Welcome to the Advanced Framework for 5.0. This version of the Advanced Framework is adapted for the Unreal Engine 5.0. After the sudden release of Unreal Engine 5, it's been quite a rush to get it done. And as the engine, it lacks a bit of polishing since we wanted to provide you with the product as fast as possible. Anyway, as usual, we did not content ourselves with just porting the framework to the new Unreal Engine version, but included tons of reworks and bug fixes. And in this video, I will go over the most notable changes so you know what to expect from the Advanced Framework Core 5.0. One must have for the Advanced Framework Core 5.0 was OpenXR support, which required us to rethink how pattern inputs and controls are handled in VR completely. This process is not completely uh, finished yet and will be developed further in upcoming versions. Most importantly, we ditched the concept of having preset data assets per HME for having one, only one data asset mapping button inputs to controller functions for all HMEs. Additionally, the Advanced Framework Core comes with a complete UI rework. With material-based widgets, tons of ready-to-use widget elements, and many more interactions like draggable sliders, an input field with keyboard, and spawnable overlays, the Advanced Framework Core's UI system is now better than ever. We also took this opportunity to move the radial menu and selection menu into the with extension, where they fit much better. The Aquiz extension is currently adapted to work with the Advanced Framework Core 5.0, and the new version will be released soon. Together with a major cleanup in the UI sector, we also reworked the hand laser and finger interaction. While the hand laser rework was more of a cosmetic nature, the finger select received major enhancements to make the interaction reliable even with widgets. As I mentioned before, we moved the selection menu component to the ex uh, Aquas extension, as well as the gaze selection button. Both your elements fit much better there than in the core that should be more universal. In all other interaction components, we contented ourselves with bug fixes. Consequently, the grab, latch, and overlap components still work as before. The state components received a major cleanup as well. We removed a number of components since they were basically redundant. Thus, the Advanced Framework Core is left with this list of state components. Additionally, the drag component underwent a substantial rework, making the definition of sections much more flexible, allowing for overlapping sections or gaps between sections. Last but not least, we attended to a number of bugs that you were kind enough to report to us on the Discord server. A big thumbs up to all the developers contributing there, to our community, and to making the framework an even better product. As you might guess, the documentation and video tutorials could not be prepared as thoroughly for this release as for previous ones. So please have some patience. We are currently hard at work to provide you with it as soon as possible. Finally, we hope you are amply informed of what to expect of the new version 5.0 of the Advanced Framework Core. May it serve you as well as its predecessors did. And with that, I will sign off. See you soon. Bye-bye.